I'm Patrick Power, a dry sock advisor in Chagas in Tinnahili County Wicklow and today as part of our 2021 spring beef and sheep webinar series we're going to have a look at lambing hygiene on the farm of Margaret Paulburn in Newtown and Kennedy County Wicklow. Here to talk us through the practices which they adopt on the farm we're going to speak with their farm manager Neil Martin. My name is Neil Martin, I'm a farm manager here in Newtown and Kennedy for Paul Bourne and Margaret Bourne. We'll have a split lambing early January. We lamb 143 hours this year. And early March, we're going to lamb 342, I think. So we give the yows, so the single yows probably get under half a kilo going to lambing. The sets get just over, a ki over half a kilo. And the triplets get about a kilo and a quarter. Um, just to keep the condition up, because the soils alone won't do it. You want to make sure you have plenty of milk and plenty of colostrum because the yolks can be as big as they want, but if they don't have that, they really have nothing. We have a reader, so we scan all our yolks um, at Lamin. Any issues I put into the yolk, I put into the reader. Any prolapses, any yolks that are giving me bother, like hopping out pens, anything like that. Um, yolks that have mastoidus, milk on one side, big spins, you name it, I put it into this. I send an alert on the machine, so then when I wean the yolks, when I wean the yolks and I scan them all again, it'll pop up in front of me on the reader that she's getting cold because she has big spins or she had mast or she has mastitis on one side or um, prolapses, anything like that. I put into the machine. Um, it's very good for replacements because I tag the lamb and the lamb corresponds to the mother. So, and then I weigh the lambs at birth. So then when I weigh them again after weaning, it'll give me the daily gain, what every lamb is doing. So if that lamb is gaining 400 grams a day, I'll keep her, because obviously there's something going on there, there's good genes in the, in the lamb from the mother. And that's if, if the twin bear no, if the twin bear lamb, if you know what I mean. So the vaccinations we use on the farm, any replacement yolks we buy in, we ends up axed them. Um, we do that about two to three weeks when we're on the farm. A any replacements um, we buy in or any replacements we're keeping. Then I would use the foot vax around six weeks before I house the sheep. It usually takes about four weeks to get going, I think. So I just like to get that into them and just make sure I bring down any foot problems because if you have bad feet, if you have bad feet in the pain, then the three or four more yolks might get it and it spreads quite bad in the sheds. So I find that really helps. Um, we have to back pee. All yolks, two to three weeks before lambing, all yolks get it. Lambs will get it six weeks after they're born, um, six to eight weeks after they're born, and then they'll get a booster at about 12 weeks of age. We, we get our soilage tested, um, the first cut this year was 74 DMD, second cut was 67 I think. So we break up the yolks in two different, two different litter sizes, twins and singles and triplets. Um, so with the first cut soilage we had to use less meal because um, obviously it was 74 DMD. Um, we use a 20% nut. Um, and you find the 20% note is better than the 18. For the sake of the, of the few pounds you're saving, you run into problems, I think. We tried it one year, we used the 19, and then we went into the 20. Um, found the yolks got twin lamb disease, didn't have enough colostrum and things like that. So we moved the yolk lamb into the pan, move it in here. And then when we move it out of here, we lime the pens because not too much lime, just a small bit because we try to keep infection down and we clean all these pens out then between both lamins so from the early ones in January to the early one or the later ones in March and then we've already started cleaning them out because we're nearly finished with our first lamin and we disinfect the whole shed um, we just use normal disinfectant just Anything we can do to keep the infection down is important. So hygiene around lambing is very important. 
So we wear gloves ourselves, and then obviously we use the orange gloves when we're handling the oar ourselves. And then when we get the yaw and the lamb into the pain, we use iodine on the navel straight away. We stomach tube all our lambs. We have a machine here that we use. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, I must tell you, but we do it and we find it brings the dead way down. Um, so we stomach tube them, we clean everything with iodine. We always do that. We try to keep as many things as we can clean with actually Milton, sorry, not iodine. And we use hot water just to keep ourselves right too, because you know, you need to be able to keep your hands clean when you're handling animals.